What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast I had a cheese bagel. For lunch we went to this Mexican restaurant. For Mother's Day it was rather good. It was at the mall. And for dinner we're probably not gonna have anything because I'm rather full. Um, people who use Oh My ZSH are people who don't know what they're talking about and are crazy people. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I bring up the uh... I'm watching this video where this guy is setting up this, this MacBook, right, for, for development. Uh, and I think that's interesting. But for those of you who don't know, Oh My ZSH is basically just, uh, this, this ZSH configurator. And now keep in mind, uh, the configurator for ZSH is exclusively just a little config file. It's your ZSH RC file. Um, and you, um, can put it in your home directory, or preferably you can put it into some sort of, um, XGG-based directory, right? Like in your config folder or something. Uh, and the annoying thing about my ZSH is that, uh, when you get it, it installs all of these themes and all of these different little functionalities that are disabled by default, but have to load every time you open your terminal. And of course, you know, realistically, terminal opening speed doesn't really matter in the long term. But uh, when you think about it, when you open up your terminal and your prompt doesn't show up immediately, think about how much time, over time, that you're wasting, you know? Uh, probably by the time uh, you're, uh, you're at the end of your life, you've probably wasted maybe like, like six hours or like 10 hours your whole life just waiting for your terminal to load, right? Uh, and you know, I hate Steve Jobs, he's kind of a cult leader, but uh, uh, something he said is he was trying to get Macintosh start times as low as possible, right? As low, 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 low as possible. Because collectively, all of the human beings waiting for their Macintoshes to load, uh, that would be over 70 years um, altogether. So you're saving lives if you decrease the start time of your, of your application. And so uh, you could say that oh my ZSH is literally murdering people. <laughs> it's literally murdering people, uh, if you want to say that. Uh, but... Yeah, that, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, God, yeah. So, if you wanna, if you wanna modify your ZSH, um, your your ZSH, just use the config file, and you don't have to use some sort of weird, stupid, like, like, oh, oh, bro, oh my ZSH, bro, oh, bro. You know what I mean? Don't use oh my ZSH. It's bad. Uh, the map's going well. The DIN map. Uh, I've got it's got my old base rendered. Let me bring this up. Um, I'm watching this Hassan reaction video. Hassan's a crazy person. Um, never mind. Uh, I, I just realized I can't describe what I mean by that without lots of context. I'm not a crazy person. Don't worry. Uh, check this out. Okay, it doesn't normally take this long to load. I don't know what's going on. Hello? Can I restart the page, I guess? There you go, that's way better. Um, yeah, so we've got my old bases, my old house, and my old mining area. This is kind of an old like storage area. And uh, this farm, this area for uh, my sugarcane farm, and this cool little coliseum I made, and the, and the two towers, which uh, actually have a map up here, which is why um, this entire area here is kind of rendered in a square. The reason why is because, um, of, uh, is making maps. And so I rendered it all out. It's a shame because, uh, that means a lot of it isn't 1.18 chunks. It's like 1.16 chunks. Uh, but you know, what can you do, I guess? Who needs amethyst nowadays? Uh, sadly, hold on. If I go to my, if I go to my new base, which is where people are, uh, yeah, here we go. You can tell it's new chunks. It looks different. Uh, yeah, this, this is my new base here. Um, yeah, but as you can tell, uh, it's not rendered yet. And I'm still... Well, it's kind of rendered because I'm there. Uh, if you're in an area, it renders it. It starts rendering it. But uh, since it's doing the full render of everything else, it doesn't really have time uh, to do anything. So I'm still waiting for the 3D render to happen. Because the map is just so big. And uh, the map, when it's completed, will be over 70 gigabytes, which is unreal. Um, but the, uh, the nether map is done, and the end map is done, so, you know, check this out. This is a 3D map for the nether, and then, uh, and keep in mind how big this is. This is big. That's, like, one glowstone block. Check that out. It's massive. Uh, and then the end is done. Uh, I made sure to not render that much of the end, because, uh, even though the chunks are preloaded, so then, uh, it's not hard when people are, uh, end rating, uh, 
it's still very important to uh, have people so that people can't cheat. You know, people can't cheat, just find out where the locations of the end cities are, uh, even though you could just look it up on the seed. Uh, but that's, I'm, I'm, I'm adding layers of separation uh, from how easy it is to cheat. And because of that, I think it's, it's much harder. Uh, yeah, so check this out. Um, I didn't make this. Uh, a couple of people on the server made this. They're very cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, you, you saw me building, so that's not that phenomenal. Uh, the world should be over here. Yep, okay. Yeah, so you surrender all the way over here to have the new AC loaded, but that'll happen eventually. Uh, and then once that happens, I'll officially roll out the server. Um, the, the map, not the server, because the server's been around for a few. Uh, yeah, alright, see you again.